and welcome to Digi Pro Tips. I'm Andy Edmondson and here we work smarter and not harder. And that's why today I want to show you an easy way to create the glow streak effect that has been made viral by Instagram page Blotter Media. And we're gonna do it inside of After Effects using a free plugin, that's right, a free plugin from none other than Video Copilot. So let's get to it. Okay, we're in After Effects and to get started, we need a piece of footage. So I've simply just gone to Pixabay and got this footage of a guy break dancing, which should work nicely. Uh, these sort of effects work well with motion. The other thing that you need to do is you need to head to videocopilot.net, search for Sabre in their tutorials and download the Sabre plugin uh, for Mac or for Windows, depending on which one you are on and install that for After Effects and then restart After Effects and join me back here. Now, I have my footage and I need to create a new comp. So we'll just do that. Let's call it Breakdance Streaks. And we're just going to make it five seconds long. We're not going to make it. We're just going to make it five seconds long because we don't need any more than that. This is a time consuming effect. So let's just choose a bit that we want to have the effect on. I'm going to, I'm going to do this leg swing round here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and have some energy, energy glow come down his leg and then it will trail off behind him as the leg swings round. So let's do that. So first of all, we need to create a new solid command Y. Any color solid doesn't matter. Turn the solid off and then add Sabre to that solid. If you turn the layer back on, you'll see this is what you get instantly. You've already got a glowing streak, but that is just the preset that the plugin comes with. We don't actually want to do anything with that right away. What we need to do is we need to effectively paint on where the streak's gonna go. To do that, we need to create layer masks. So if you go to your pen tool, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start, I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm going to start about here on his leg and I'm going to create some frames here to wrap around his leg. Then I need to go to my mask, get my mask path and start animating it. So a one, a long one frame and we need to change this so that it comes down, it's going behind and trailing off. So that one would come in and then we'd create a new mask to come around the other side and back again. Next frame, we want to, this mask, have that come over here. Again, this one's gonna come in, it's trailing off now. And this mask, we need to move over that is now starting to uh, come around this way and we'll go in into his foot. Next frame. And this first mask is pretty much gone by this point. This mask, I'm going to move over here. This is starting to trail off at this end now. And it has created a new mask around his shoe. Then we're gonna light up. Add a keyframe for that path. Make sure then that one's now done. This path here we need to bring over just change some of these Value. That one needs to be come over. This one's nearly done now because it's gone into his foot. And this path here, we need to make sure that's back over his foot again. Just need to change the path a little bit onto the next one. And we could probably say that that one's also done. We'll follow his foot around. Again, just tweak where you need to. One more frame of that, I think. this mask doesn't start until the next frame. So we need to 
move that mask away and then this bottom mask doesn't start until this next frame so that one can also go away so then we should have only the mask that we need on the sections that are relevant to it let's create a new mask after his foot has been energized with a light streak coming off it and um, so from here general direction of axes and then that is going to follow that curve Let's just make sure that that shoe also goes away from that frame. Okay, next frame for this, bring that up. That would have come to down here now, curving inwards that way along that trage trajectory. A couple more frames of that. There, gonna come in to there, and then one more frame, move that up, okay. So, there we have it we have our masks, it goes around his leg into his shoe and creates a streak. Just make sure that on this frame, the streak's not there. So what do we do now? We need to turn our solid back on. We need to go to the effects controls for the Sabre plugin. Now, in the Sabre plugin, this is the really good bit about this plugin. There are so many different glow types that you can choose from for this effect. Um, let's go to Inferno and poof, it's fire. It is hot in there. Let's go to energy. And that looks pretty cool. Also, we all we can go down to wormhole. We can choose ghost. Like there's all sorts of different ones that you could choose from in this. Let's just go with the neon because that's the effect that is made popular by Blossom Media. Um, in fact, we can choose that hot pink. Why not? Let's go for that. And to utilize the mask that we've just created, we need to go to customize core and choose core type and choose layer masks. Okay, but we don't have any breakdowns underneath. That's because we need to choose the render settings for the effect. And under composite settings here, it says to composite on black. Actually, we want to composite on transparent. Now we have our dancer, we have our masks and we have our mask glowing. So let's have a little look at what that looks like. There you go. It's quick. As you can see, there's a lot of frames that you need to paint. And also we just realized that that needs to be away for that frame so that when he comes around, his leg gets energized and creates a light streak. And then on this frame, the streak has finished. So it's very quick. As you can see, it takes a while to do, but it's simple and effective. And here we can change any type of glow streak that we want. Let's go to Arc Reactor. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. And with a little imagination, you can do whatever you want, any type of glow streak that you like with this effect, simply by doing some keyframes of layer masks. There we go, glowing streaks in After Effects. It's simple, if a little bit time consuming. And if you like this video, then you know what to do. Give us a subscribe hit the like button, write a comment, and we'll see you next time.